So after exploring the beautiful country of India for the last month, we've had one of the best, most eye-opening experiences of our lives. From arriving in the capital city Delhi on day one, we travelled to the truly stunning mountains of Manali by bus, visited a wonder of the world, the Taj Mahal by night train, and rode camels deep into the desert to spend a night under the stars by the Pakistan border. Over the course of our journey, we've met some amazing people and tried to immerse ourselves the best we could in the culture and the way people live in this part of the world. Which, may I add, is the polar opposite from our average lives at home. As you can imagine, India generates a crazy amount of waste every single year, but doesn't even come close to the likes of the US and China. The issue India has is that 52 million tonnes of waste every year is not disposed of correctly, which leaves massive waste sites dotted throughout towns and cities where both people and animals end up living. We arrived in Pushkar, which is a small holy town in the Rajasthan district, home to only 30,000 people. The perfect place to explore on motorbikes, climb hills to temples and relax with the locals. After visiting a local cafe multiple times and getting to know the owner Manish, we found an opportunity to spread a simple yet positive message. Here's what happened. Good morning, good morning. In today's video, we are going to be helping out a local clear up the front of his shop. Yesterday we were having some food outside one of the uh, local shops and one of the things that we noticed was how, wow, we've got a cow how dirty the area was so today we're going to head down to Manisha's shop we've got some shovels we're going to help clear up the front of his shop make it look nice and clean and tidy this is Manisha's shop up here so this is where we've been hanging out the last few days and this is the front of his shop we understand that the job that we have to do it's not actually a load, a load of work, but you have to start out small, you have to start out somewhere. This country is absolutely beautiful, but there are things that need to be sorted out and you've got to start out on a small, small basis. It's 35 degrees, it's nice and early in the morning. But bro, <laughs> let's think how good it'll look once it's all done. Let's do it! Let's do it. Halfway there, boys. Is it halfway? Halfway there, I reckon. Do you think? Hopefully, three quarters. Look at this! Wow! Good job. Almost done. You help me out. Awesome. OT100, we a hot experience, but very rewarding. It does feel good. He really appreciated it, so. And we set an example. That's what it's about, setting an example. We understand this small deed is not going to change the world. However, the message we can all take from this is that it doesn't cost anything but your time to help someone out. You must be the change that you want to see in the world. It's better to have a positive attitude and tackle problems optimistically than not take any action at all. So our message is simple. We know we can't change India single-handedly, but what if we could lead by setting a good example? What if we can inspire just one person watching this video to act and make a small difference that benefits others in a positive way? Who knows how many people that one person could potentially go on to inspire?